reduce the block diagram. Reduce the block diagram shown below. Here, to reduce this, we have to use the seven rules. We have to consider the innermost block. Innermost block means G2. G2 is the innermost. But to simplify this, we have to combine this with the G3. But uh, between G2 and G3, there's a, there is a takeaway point. If we combine these two, where T1 goes, we do not know. That's why, first we have to move this T1 to T2. If we move that, um, this H2 is not multiplied by G3. If we move that, it will be multiplied by G3. That's why to compensate that, uh, H2 must be divided by G3. Similarly, H1 also must be divided by G3. Let us assume that H2 divided by G3 equal to H2 dash. And the H1 divided by G3 can be called as H1 dash. If we combine this, uh, if we combine these two together, after moving this, what happens? Uh, the circuit becomes like this. This link is removed. Because of that movement, that link is removed. Therefore, we can combine this green part. Mm, we can combine this uh, green part. If we combine this, uh, what you will get is by using seventh rule, this can be combined. Uh, mm, this feedback can be combined and uh, G2, G3 can be combined by using the first rule. That's why this becomes G2, G3 divided by 1 plus. Why plus? Because it is a negative feedback. That's why 1 plus. G2, G3, H3. Let us call this is equal to G4. Therefore, the block diagram becomes the block diagram becomes R of S G1. This becomes G4. G4 equal to G2, G3, D1 plus G2, G3, H3. Now we have to take this feedback and this becomes uh, H2 dash negative and uh, this is H1 dash, H1 dash. This is C of S. So now uh, we will get uh, the new block. Here again, this can be simplified. This is the innermost part. This can be simplified. So this is equal to this is equal to G4 divided by 1 plus Y plus because of negative sign. G4 H2 dash. Let us call this as G5. Therefore, the final block diagram becomes uh, G1. This becomes G5. And you will get H1 dash negative feedback. This is equal to G1, G5 divided by 1 plus y plus because negative feedback hmm? 1 plus g1 g5 h1 dash g1 g5 h1 dash but the g5 equal to what g4 divided by 1 plus g4 h2 dash if we substitute that therefore the overall transfer function t of s becomes g1 we have to substitute for G5. G1, G5 equal to what? G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H2 dash. This is in the numerator. In the denominator also, we have to substitute for G5. That is 1 plus G1 G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H2 dash. This is in the denominator, this is in the numerator. If you take LCM, what you will get is G1, G4 divided by 1 plus G4, H2 dash divided by 1 plus G4, 
H2 dash G4 H2 dash plus because of this one we got the LCM then G1 G4 G1 G4 H1 dash whole divided by whole divided by 1 plus G4 H2 dash this LC because these two getting cancelled. Therefore, this becomes G1 G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H2 dash plus G1 G4 H1 dash. Now substitute for G4. G4 equal to what? G2 G3 1 plus G2 G3 H3. If we substitute for G4, what you will get is G1 G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G2 G3 H3 whole divided by here also we have to substitute for G4 1 plus G2 G3 H2 dash divided by 1 plus G2 G3 H3 plus here also we have to substitute G1 G1 G2, G3, H1 dash divided by 1 plus G2, G3, H3. So if you take 1 plus G2, G3, this is in the denominator, this is in the numerator. If you take LCM, we can cancel 1 plus G2, G3, H3. Therefore, T of S equal to, if you take LCM, you will get cancel this part. This By taking LCM, we can cancel this, this, and this by replacing 1 by that term. Therefore, we get uh, the final transfer function as G1, G2, G3 divided by, in place of 1, because of LCM, we have to write this. 1 plus G2 G3 H3 plus G2 G3 H2 dash. H2 dash equal to what? H2 divided by G3. H2 divided by G3 plus G1 G2 G3 H1 dash. H1 dash equal to what? H1 dash is uh, H1 divided by H1 divided by G3. G3 getting cancelled, G3 getting cancelled. Therefore, this is the final transfer function. The final transfer function is in the numerator G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G2, G3, H3, G2, H2, G1, G2, H1. That's all. That is the final transfer function. Final transfer function. Let us uh, check whether the answer is correct or not by uh, finding the transfer function by using the signal flow graph. If you consider, convert this into signal flow graph, uh, how many nodes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 nodes are there. So, we have to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 7. There is no block between 1 and 2. That's why we can put uh, unity gain. 2 to 3, a block is called G1. 3 to 4, no block. One. 4 to 5, there is a block called G2. 5 to 6, there is a block called G3. 6 to 8, there is no block, that's why 1. 6 to 4, there is a block minus H3. Why minus? Because of negative feedback. Here, from 7 to 3, 7 to 3, there is a path that is called minus H2. Why minus H2? Because of negative feedback. 7 to 2 is there. 7 to 2. 
that is all minus h1 why minus h1 because negative p that's all we got the singular program now what is the formula formula is the transfer function equal to 1 by delta sigma p k delta k p k delta k how many forward pass only one forward pass from if we start from 1 will end at uh, 8 as one way path only one one way path is there that's why k equal to 1 only one forward path that's why k equal to 1 therefore we have only p1 delta 1 p1 equal to what what is the gain of gain products of p1 forward path g1 g2 g3 all are one only that's why p1 equal to g1 g2 g3 Delta 1 is a delta. What is delta? Delta equal to 1 minus gain products of individual loops plus gain products of two non-touching loop minus gain product of three non-touching loop, etc. Here, there is no non-touching loops. All loops are touching each other. That's why these are all not required. So, what is delta 1? Delta 1 is delta for the graph which is not touching the forward path. There is no graph which is not touching the forward path. The only one graph is there that is not touching the forward path. That is node 7. Node 7. Node 7 is not touching the forward path, but it doesn't have any loop. Suppose 7 has a loop like this, then we have to consider. Here there is no loop, that's why delta 1 equal to 1. Delta 1 equal to 1. Therefore, P1 delta 1 equal to G1, G2, G3. What is delta? Now we have to find the delta. Delta equal to 1 minus sum of gain products of individual loops. The loops are, this is L1, this is loop 2, this is loop 3. L1, what is the gain products of L1? Minus. Because H3 is minus. G2, G3, H3. G2, G3, H3. Minus. Why minus? Because H2 is minus. Second loop gain, G2, H2. That's all. G2, H2. Minus. L3 is G1, G2, H1. G1, G2, H1. Why minus all minus? Because one term is negative. That's all. There is no two non-touching loops, three non-touching loops. That's all delta. Therefore, the transfer function is the transfer function P of is equal to the numerator P1 delta 1. That is G1, G2, G3 divided by delta. What is delta? 1 plus Y plus because uh, all at the negative, one negative sign is outside. That's why all becomes plus. So 1 plus G2, G3, H3 plus G2, H2 plus G1, G2, H1. G1, G2, H1. G1, G2, H1. G1, G2, H1. G2, H2. G2, H2. Here also G2, H2. Here G2, G3, H3. 1 plus G2, G3, H3. Here also 1 plus G2, G3, H3. Numerator G1, G2, G3. Here also the numerator is G1, G2, G3. We got the same answer. 